Hello, Comrade Snake here. It's been a while since my upload. I've been really busy this week and haven't been able to get a lot of playtime uh, for a lot of the week, but I've now finished turn one of scenario three, the morning action at Shiloh Church. So let me get a little close here. I'm gonna be doing this handheld uh, just to kind of show around. So it might be a little bit shaky, I apologize. I don't have a good like uh, system for doing this um, without uh, by hand, but at least at this angle that it's at right now. Anyway, so obviously Confederates advanced all across the board. Um, a lot of interesting kind of small situations happened. So I, I drew a lot of Confederate ships at first. They started with initiative and I just kept drawing Confederate activations. So they got a lot going on very quickly. Uh, so Peabody's poor brigade, first of all, is, it's, it's, so it's ineffective. Second of all, Peabody died uh, in the fighting. He was, he was uh, mortally wounded or just killed outright during the fighting, but his brigade was completely shattered uh, by Shaver, pretty much, pretty much predominantly Shaver, although Heinemann's guys are starting to get fatigued, and I'm thinking the fatigue is going to start, uh, is what's going to really start causing problems for the Confederates in the next few turns, but... Uh, anyway, all across the board, of course, advancing. Um, the main action was over here, and then with Clyburn, of course, Clyburn, of course, up here. Um, so, initially, extreme success. Um, the Confederates, Clyburns especially, were rolling eights and nines on their fire tables, and they managed to rout um, the poor Ohioan. Oops, sorry, poor Ohioans here, seventy and the seventy seventh Ohio were routed thanks to the special union rules about, um, you know, routing units in the first first uh, few turns up until the 10 a.m. turns. So there's still another potential round of that um, next next turn, but the uh, Sherman's boys, Buckland and Hildenburg, especially Buckland, managed to kind of form a cohesive defense and start pouring some fire onto Claiborne's uh, men and did a, a fair amount of damage they're only down to sit. They're down to six here. These guys are still healthy, and they managed to rally right at the end here. But Claiborne's also fatigued, and I think they took one strength point. Yeah, one strength point loss here on the um, of 15th Arkansas. But they're fatigued. They're not in a great spot. They're going to start taking fire. So depending on how the initiative goes and who is able to move up to to hit Hildebrand, kind of flank Hildebrand is going to it's going to matter a bit. Um, these guys did manage, so these, these two units were not allowed to move until they rally. The 23rd Tennessee did manage to rally, but then they were disordered by a very lucky roll uh, by the 50th Ohio, who later on then repelled the still never quite rallied 6th uh, Mississippi, or uh, sorry, excuse me, that's Missouri, 6th Missouri, who were uh, shot back. Um, Otherwise, for the most part, a cup some. There's a little bit of there's a, some slight strength point damage. I think that yeah, I think they're no, not them. Someone was someone, someone took. They took a strength point loss. There's at least one other one around here that yeah, there's one there. Took a little some minor strength damage from Shaver's men in the fight with Peabody, but not enough to really say anything. But Wraith is getting in position to make a, a defensive line to meet the incoming rebels. McDowell's still holding just fine. Pond slightly moved up, but they got to get through the swamp, which is going to potentially cause disorder as they try to advance up. Um, they can try to put fire, but it's not going to be particularly effective at this range. But these are all rifled infantry, plus these cannon uh, artillery. So they were raking fire and didn't manage to do a whole lot, but they, they did uh, bring a strength point down here and just uh, caused some... A disorder that was eventually that was rallied um, almost immediately after, but still, um, they're gonna have a, a difficult time getting up there. So uh, that's pretty much the basics of what happened. Just um, you know, just some fighting and uh, Peabody. That's the main thing. Is Peabody's was basically uh, brigade, at least the brigade that the part of it that's on here is pretty much obliterated. Uh, and the rest are, are moving in, so we're going to be heading to the 9 a.m. turn, I believe. Is it 9 a.m.? Yes, 9 a.m. turn. 
We'll see uh, how it goes. There's some more reinforcements gonna be coming in for the Union. Not a lot though. Um, they're gonna have just barely enough to maybe, maybe hold on, but it's, it's a lot of rebels coming out their way. And they uh, historically should be getting pushed, pushed off basically, but uh, we'll see how it goes and uh, catch you next time.